Hello, welcome. I'm glad you're here. Thank you for joining me for this practice today. Um, you could possibly need a couple blocks and a strap. So if you want to run and grab that stuff real quick, go ahead and pause this video and then meet me right back on your mat. We're going to start off our practice with some diaphragmatic breathing. I always like to start off the practice with the breath work just to kind of ground ourselves into our mat, into our practice, into our bodies so that we can get the most benefit from what we're doing. So it's really hard to focus on what we're doing if our mind is racing or if we're thinking about what we're gonna do next. So take this time to just breathe in nice and slow through your nose, filling up your lungs, focusing on that breath. And as you exhale, exhale nice and slow through your nose, emptying that breath all the way down into the bottom of that belly. Just really breathing nice and slow here. Just listening to our body and our breath. On your next inhale, go ahead and breathe in nice and slow, filling up those lungs. <clears throat> You can set an intention here if you feel inclined to do so. Mindfulness is always a solid choice. But it can be anything that resonates with you and your body and your life today. And once you set that intention, go ahead and exhale through the nose, I'm sorry, through the mouth at the loud side, just releasing anything that no longer serves you. meeting yourself right here, right now on your mat. We're going to go ahead and blink those eyes open if they were closed. And then we're going to go ahead and start off our practice in a downward facing dog today. So what we're going to do is we're just going to press into our mat with our hands. We're going to tuck our toes under. We're going to bring those hips up towards the sky, straightening those legs. You can keep those heels lifted and just pedal those feet back and forth nice and gently. Press into those hands, shifting those hips up towards the sky. Maybe you're pausing with that right leg bent and then straighten the left. I don't know what feels good for you today. And then switching to the other side. Drop that head down. We're going to walk those feet up towards the front of the mat. Once your feet are up towards the front of the mat, go ahead and grab onto opposite elbows with each hand. And we'll just hang that head heavy, rocking back and forth from side to side. Maybe you'll shake that head. Are you telling me no? I'm going to shake mine and say yes. Do it. So maybe you should shake that head yes too. And it helps release that tension in the upper back and the neck. In the jaw. Maybe you rock forward on those toes and back on those heels. And you grip the mat with those toes. Releasing the arms. We're just going to roll up nice and slow, articulating the spine, coming up into a mountain pose with the hands down by the sides. We'll empty our lungs. We'll breathe in nice and slow. And we'll exhale again. We're going to breathe in, we're reaching up to the sky with those hands. We're going to exhale, we're going to fold forward, placing those hands down onto the ground. I want you to step back with that right foot and heel to that left foot out towards the left, keeping both hands firmly on the ground, pressing into that mat. We're going to rock back and forth, keeping those right toes 
tucked under. Just finding some length here in the front of that right psoas, hip flexor. Sure to breathe here. And when your body feels ready, you can lower that right knee down. We're going to reach up with that left arm. We're going to grab on that right foot. If it's available, if not, you can use your strap here. Just hook that strap around that foot and then meet yourself where you are, making sure to breathe here. Square up those hips. Looking forward, bring that foot in towards the glute, and then kick it back into the hand. Just breathing, moving mindfully, moving with our breath. And release that right leg down, placing both hands down onto the ground. Come down onto our forearms, or you can place your blocks here, stacking them up. Let me grab my blocks and I'll show you. You just want to place these forearms down onto the blocks. Maybe you only need one block. And maybe you don't need any blocks. It doesn't really matter how many blocks you need or if you don't need them. You just want to breathe into this, find some space and some length. And place that right forearm down on the ground. You place that left hand to the inside of that left knee and you can press that leg open. Bringing that knee back to center. I'm going to tuck those right toes under, press into the mat with those hands, step that left foot back, coming into a plank, and then we're going to press it back into a downward facing dog. Go ahead and pedal those feet, moving nice and slow, pressing into the mat with those hands, rotating those hips up towards the head, dropping those heels down towards the ground, breathing in. Exhaling. On your next inhale, go ahead and step that right foot forward, <clears throat> staying up tall on those left toes. I'm just going to rock back and forth here nice and gently. When your body feels ready, you can lower that left knee down, place that left hand down in the center of the mat, reach that right arm up long behind you, grabbing onto those left toes. Just breathing into this hamstring, I'm sorry, this quad stretch. When your body feels ready, you can bring that heel in towards the glute. And then you can kick that hand into the foot, or the foot into the hand. Sorry, I can't stop today. And bring that heel in and then kick. Releasing down and come down onto those blocks or down onto the forearms, whatever feels right for you. You can open up that right knee, placing that right hand to the outside and your left forearm down. You can come out to the outside blade edge of that right foot. Rising back up, pressing into the mat with those hands, we're going to quietly and easily step that right foot back. We're in this plank now. We're just going to hold this plank for just a few breaths. Just building up that tension in our body again, that stress, that heat. Oh boy, does that feel good. We're gonna be up tall on those toes, suck that belly in, press into the mat with those hands, squeeze those thighs together. Exhale, press back into a downward facing dog. We're gonna lower down onto our knees. We're gonna bring our big toes together, our knees apart. <clears throat> walking our hands forward. 
placing our forehead down onto the ground for a child's pose. Rising up onto your fingertips, go ahead and rise up nice and slow, arching the back. We're going to come into this all fours position. I want you to take that right arm and I want you to reach it up towards the sky. On the exhale, I want you to thread it through underneath the body, bringing that right shoulder, right ear to the mat. Our palms facing you. Press into the ground with that left hand. We're going to reach up. Exhale, thread it through. Last one, reaching up, thread it through. If you need a little bit more here, <clears throat> you can grab onto the thigh on the right side with that left arm by wrapping it around the back. Rising up, let's press our left hand into the ground. We're going to reach up with that right arm for a counter twist. <clears throat> Place that right hand down. Go ahead and switch sides, reaching up. Exhale, thread it through. Left ear, left shoulder to the mat. Breathing in, reaching up. Exhale, thread it through. Last one, breathing in. Exhale, thread it through, hold it here. Releasing that bind, press that right hand down into the mat, reach up the left arm, lowering down. <clears throat> now we're just going to do some cat-cow variations. I'm just going to articulate the spine. So make sure that your hips or your knees are hip width distance apart <clears throat> and that your shoulders and your wrists are stacked. We're going to tuck that tailbone under between our legs and we're going to round that spine all the way up. Pressing into the mat with those hands, round that spine, tucking that chin to the chest, belly button to the spine. Now we're going to untuck this by untucking the tail, dropping that pelvis down. Dropping the belly down, squeezing the shoulder blades together, looking up. We'll do this a couple more times. So now we're tuck that tail, round spine all the way up, pressing into those hands, rounding the shoulder blades, tucking the chin, untuck. We're doing this nice and slow. We want to feel each vertebrae moving on the way up. Figuratively, not literally. It's like a wave. You just want to feel the mobility, the movement in the spine as we breathe and we round and we arch, just moving intuitively now. Three breaths. What feels good to you today in your body? Pressing in the mat, we're going to lift those hips up towards the sky. We're going to pedal those feet. We're going to pick up that right foot and reach those toes up towards the sky, pointing them nice and straight here, keeping that leg nice and straight. On the exhale, we're going to bring our right leg in towards the chest. We're going to drop that right knee down in between those hands. We're going to keep those left toes tucked under here. Steering those hips so they're square. If you feel anything in your knee here, then I want you to back out of this pose and I want you to come into a seated figure four where you just pick up that foot and place it on top of that knee, keeping this foot flexed, okay? So we're going to go into the pigeon here. You've got your right knee up. We're going to go ahead and keep everything nice and long here. Pick that chest up. Looking up towards the sky, grounding left foot into the ground. Foot is engaged. Exhale, let's 
Roll it forward, rounding the spine, picking it up. Some waves here. And then we're just going to come down. We're going to place that right hand down, left hand down, place that forehead on top of that left hand. Rising up into the mat. We're going to tuck those left toes under. We're going to step that right foot back into a downward facing dog. And we're going to pick up that left foot, pointing it nice and tall, three-legged dog. We're going to exhale. We're going to bring that left knee in between those hands, keeping those right toes tucked under so we can steer those hips and make sure that everything is square here. Rock back and forth just a little bit. I'm going to untuck those toes. I'm going to pick up my chest. And then around. So I'm going to do some cat and cows here. And then I'm going to go ahead and place that left hand down, right hand down. I'm going to bring that forehead down to the hands for sleeping pigeon. Again, if this isn't too much, if this is too much on that knee, you want to be in that seated position. And eventually, with time, this will become easier. Rising up, we're gonna place those hands down into the mat. We're gonna step that left leg back into a downward facing dog. I'm just going to hold this down dog for a couple of breaths. Reconnecting with our body. Feeling that space and the grace we've just given ourselves in those hamstrings and that low back. Upper thoracic. Lower those knees down. We're going to come into a seated position onto our hips and heels. And then we're going to kick those legs out long in front of us, coming down onto our forearms, all the way down onto our spine. We're going to hug those knees into our chest and rock back and forth nice and gently. We're going to take our hands on each one of our knees and we're just going to make some small circles into our hips, moving in one direction. And then switch directions with those circles. And we're gonna place those feet down and bring our feet together, knees apart. Coming into this reclined butterfly. If this is a lot on your inner thighs or bothers your hips, you can place blocks under the knees. And place one hand on your heart, one hand on your belly. Breathing and filling up those lungs nice and slow. Exhale, emptying the lungs completely. You can extend those legs out long in front of you, <clears throat> allowing those feet to flop open to the sides, bringing our hands down by our sides with the palms facing up. Entering into our Shavasana, the most important pose of them all, the pose where we do nothing. We don't think about anything we've done, we're doing conversations we need to have or have had. We simply breathe. We breathe in nice and slow, filling up those lungs. We pause at the top. Exhale. 
And as long as completely allowing our body just to relax completely or beneath us. We acknowledge those thoughts as they enter our brain. We allow them to pass just as quickly as they can. We breathe in. When you're ready to come out of your Shavasana, you can begin by inviting some small movement with your toes by maybe wiggling them, maybe wiggling those fingertips. Reach those arms up long above your head. Up one foot and then the other, placing it onto the mat with the knees bent. Rocking those knees out to one side and then the other, like windshield wipers. Just breathing and moving. And when you're ready, you can roll to one side or the other, or you can grab onto your legs behind your hamstrings, rocking up into a comfortable seated position on your mat. Bringing your hands to your heart center. Breathe in, nice and slow, filling up those lungs. You exhale, you release anything that no longer serves you. I hope you have the most beautiful day. Thank you for practicing with me.